research out today suggests almost half a million new cancer cases every year can be linked to excess body weight. The study also found a majority of those cases were in North America and Europe. Cass Rusi has more on what the researchers found and what they say people should be doing to reduce their risk. At this all-women's club in Toronto, they go through grueling workouts, hoping a healthy lifestyle will pay off with a fit body and a life free of serious illness. After all, weight gain has long been associated with diabetes and heart disease. I was creeping up into my 50s and uh, I knew if I didn't do something about my weight, it would have done something about me. But it may be surprising to some to learn that being overweight or obese is also linked to cancer, particularly cancers that affect women. Such as postmenopausal breast cancer, but also ovarian cancer and cancer of the womb. Um, so those are very common cancers that, um, that are only affecting women. In the medical journal The Lancet Oncology, researchers found that about half a million cancer cases every year had a link to being obese or overweight. That's 3.6% of all cancer cases globally. They also found a majority of those cases, almost two-thirds, were in North America and Europe. Researchers say higher obesity rates and poor food choices are likely the cause. Similar Canadian research released last month found that 12,000 Canadians develop cancer because of excess weight and an inactive lifestyle every year. The author of the study says it should serve as a wake-up call. These are preventable case, cancer cases and anything we can do to be proactive in our own cancer prevention will be beneficial both at the individual and at the population level. And no matter which side of the globe, the remedy is pretty much the same, say researchers. A diet free of junk food and a whole lot of this. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto. Well, right after the break.